Hello everyone, this is Eddie Order. Welcome back to Eora. I'm Celtic Templar. And today y'all, we're actually getting into another how-to video on the Irish Wolf Warriors. Now, what were the Irish Wolf Warriors, might ask? Well, the Irish Wolf Warriors in history are sadly a forgotten warrior branch and, well, military units in history. Because they're not exactly as talked about as the uh, other wolf warriors from history or uh, beast warriors from history like that of the uh, from Europe such as the uh, Germanic Ufflinder uh, and as well the Nordic Berserker. So what were the wolf warriors? Well the wolf warriors of Ireland were a mystic people. They were forgotten from time to time mainly because one there's little known evidence or very little talk about poems but if we do take a look at history, there are heroic poems of these wolf warriors guarding innocent civilians. Now, it's actually said that the wolf warriors, unlike the berserkers, the wolf warriors were of noble class. They were great warriors, but they feared their ferocity and their power on the battlefield, so much so that they would go to so many lengths to actually protect innocent civilians from their dangerous power. So if you think about it, it's like, uh, say for example, I am a great warrior and I killed like say a 20 men and I am scared of this power so in doing so, I hide away. Now in Irish culture, or in Celtic culture, this was actually viewed as a great warrior being. But the fact is, the wolf warriors uh, were said Unlike with the Berserkers where they were cast out from their society, the Wolf Warriors chose to cast to be cast out from society in order to better hone their skills, better protect the village. So in doing so, they could actually, well, protect their kingdom without being part of their kingdom. So we can see why. So what were they dressed as? What was their equipment? You might ask. Well, from the scripts I have uh, actually read about them, it's actually said the majority of times when you read about them, apparently, they're, most of the texts say they were uh, bare butt naked, but uh, if we had to put poetic texture in history books, that might not be true at all, as some historians actually believe that they were probably shirtless due to the fact that there is many written sources that said that these bare chested warriors hurled their javelins from afar while showing their prowess on the battlefield. Now, that kind of says a lot. Now, most of their equipment though would be that of, well, stuff they could afford and probably use. Most of the time though, their equipment probably might have been the spear and javelin, as well, maybe the sling. Now, we can't actually back that up, but my best bet is if we could use that. That's what I mostly believe. Other weapons could also be a full wooden club, reason being, wood is very easy to find in the forests and woods, so this will be your primary weapon as a form of combat style weapon. Now, other accounts also state that they even used elongated swords and such, but this one I kinda don't believe much, because one, where are you gonna find this much material on the battlefield? Because literally, it's like... If I find this in the forest, this would be very rare. Now, there are some weird texts that say that the Irish wolf warriors uh, would discover their spirit sword or their spirit weapon inside the forests. I don't know if that one's true or not, so yeah. Uh, now, they would also occasionally probably use the bow and arrow, but knowing one to the major fact, uh, the bow and arrow, since these were on great noble warrior group, I doubt that they would have actually used it on the battlefield. Now what they could have probably used as majorly as a bladed weapon would be a long knife. Reason being, one, I could use this for skinning everyday uh, hunts and all that. And as well, the, ha the handle would have been made out of bone, antler, or as well even wood. As for armor, I would be wearing nothing. There are some accounts that even said that they would start to, mostly the wolf warriors would have actually been that of a nocturnal warrior. In other words, a form of night assault combat unit. 
and it's actually said that every time when the full moon emerges, that when they wear their pelts, they feel at their uh, strongest. No. Today, we don't actually have many wolves in Ireland due to the fact they were hunted to extinction. However, the species is starting to slowly come back. Now, one thing I can explain, though, when it comes down to it, the wolf warriors have a mythical uh, story around them. Now, if you all want to check out that mythical story of the werewolves of Ireland, you can check out our link down below in the description on our other channel, The Order of Horror, which talks about, well, other mythologies and history. But yeah. Now, one major thing I have to put this out is, these guys would have been... There is some weird speculation that says that they the only thing they needed to do in order to transform into a werewolf was to actually wear their pelts. So that's uh, something about them. Other accounts I have also read is said that they were tattooed all along their body to show off. And the way they were tattooed would best describe it as looking into the face of a demon. In fact, one uh, chronicle account during the time of a little after, like a hundred years after St. Patrick, says that these demonic warriors dressed in plaid, plaid like, dressed in furs and plaid, would fight against their forces of their enemies, uh, wearing little to no armor, their chest bare with tact, with faces of demons. So that's saying uh, what that could have meant. So yeah. Now their shields would have just been a plain old ordinary shield that would just most sometimes might be made out of rawhide. But yeah. Other accounts I have also read is that they also used uh, this is actually probably the mythology version, is that they could climb up stone cliff face with their with their elongated nails. Now this is probably just a myth that was protruded about them in the mythology, so we don't have much evidence to go on. But, why don't we get right into the video, shall we?
equipment. I didn't feel that much fatigue at all and 
I can see why these warriors were deeply feared, but I can actually see why these guys would probably be more of a nocturnal night mission operation unit rather than an everyday unit. So they would actually use fear tactics in order to best win the battle. So it's like this. Say for example you're a demonic warrior in the middle of the night and next thing you know the only thing that you hear are howls in the middle of the night which awaken you. That would be so horrifying. Now there are also many accounts that said that uh, their eyes can be seen glowing in the darkness, milk white. So that's uh, kind of scary. So yeah, why is it that the Irish Wolf Warriors are forgotten in history books? Well, kind of obvious. Most of our evidence of them comes from uh, Christian texts. And the Irish Wolf Warriors are only probably known from the first to 7th century AD, and by then they start to disappear. So why is still left unknown? But you can actually admire the fact that one, people wrote down books about them and stories about them to the point that one, they be later became known as werewolves. <laughs> so they have a mythology point to them that makes them more unique, more uh, well, it's a French, but demonic in form, which is what I kind of like about them. But what do y'all think? Do you think the Irish Wolf Warriors were myth or legend? Or reality? Or were you, do you all believe that they were some sort of berserker unit of Ireland and such? Let me know that in the comments below. But if y'all want to know any more about them, also let me know. I could also leave description and information down below in the description area as well as, well, the equipment that was used in this video. But hopefully this helps you all out when it comes to, uh, well, trying to do research about them. Because unfortunately it took me a long time to do research on them, because most of the information I got off of them mainly came from the mythology that surrounded them. But hopefully this helps you all out in the later videos and such, and we will be getting to our final two videos. We actually found an extra Irish video we can do for y'all, so hopefully for y'all to save very soon for that, because we might do it before our uh, Irish Nobleman video. But, hope to see y'all in the next one, like and subscribe for more, and hope to see y'all very soon. Anyways guys, it's been Celtic Templar. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.